Hello everyone. Today I'm going to sew a winter dress. And if you saw my previous video about this fabric, you know that this is a mood board where I put it all the types of dresses that I like. And I just need to choose which one of this dress uh, I will um, sew. And here it is, a green one that was in the middle. This is a dress uh, of um, TB or TB or Tibia, I don't know, uh, whatever. This is a wool uh, dress with this interesting um, bias uh, part on the front. Anyway, I will make some changes. I'm not gonna make those neck line, high neck line. I also wanna make um, smaller uh, shoulders. I will do a pockets uh, on the side, in the side seams. And there is a slit on the front. I'm not gonna make a slit. I prefer to make a vent. Uh, on the back but let's see what I will choose so here you can see a fabric that I have that I got for review from the Italian shop all contact of this fabric shop I will leave you in the info box they also speak English and you can order um, any fabric that you like directly from Italy. This fabric um, made from wool and silk, that's why it's perfect for winter dress, but um, it has a huge frame. In the beginning of project um, I like to make a stencil and here it is. It looks gorgeous uh, and if your fabric um, has prints um, you can do it um, for uh, for more inspiration and for me it works well. Then I put it um, fabric on the mannequin just to see how different types of prints matches together and I like it. Then is a first step just to understand what kind of pattern, a pattern I'm going to do. That will be um, a simple pattern I mean with a simple sleeve and there is no dart on the waist there will be a belt and then um, in the end of sewing I will make uh, those bias um, part on the um, front so here you can see that I made it well but before fitting I need um, a shoulder pad and I'm going my individual shoulder pads. I'm using um, a cotton wadding. There are uh, three uh, steps, the big one, the smaller one and the smallest. And I'm using the bottle just to make um, a shoulder pads a little rounder. It should look like um, your own shoulders, like mine. And here's the first fitting of a toile. To be honest, I like it. Um, and th this is what I need. But um, it seems to me I have to make some changes on the sleeve to add on the top of the sleeve. And I'm going to show you how on the pattern a little later. But for now, it looks gorgeous and my fabric is soft so it will fit really good and it will give me those um, air between body and dress that I need. Then I understood that um, I have to cover um, my shoulders pads with um, a piece of cotton. They will look a little uh, stronger and um, here we are I'm going to use, guess what? Yes, overlocker. Uh, more than three years I didn't use it because it was in Kyiv, Ukraine. It's my home. 
but now I'm in UK now and I brought it um, a few months ago to my home in UK and I can use it and now you can see it well I changed it a little bit and it looks gorgeous and I'm going I'm not going uh, to make some changes more I will use this pattern and here I just want to show you what changes I did I I added you can see now on the top of the sleeve and got off a little from the back just to make um, those line a little rounder and now it's time to cut my patterns Now it's time to make a decision which zip to choose. Uh, I have two zips for this fabric that looks great. This is a light gray and the red one. Of course I choose the red one. But to be honest, that was my mistake. For this fraying fabric, it's better to choose a zip that hidden zip, not like this. And if you are going to buy this fabric, please choose a hidden zip where you, you shouldn't um, cut in the corner fabric. Uh, just stitch it uh, easy way. And guess what? <laughs> yes, you're right. My patterns are ready, ready to cut my fabric. It seems to be I forgot to tell you that my sleeve has two seams. Here you can see my fabric on the floor. There are three meters. And I just want to understand how to cut a fabric, how to put on it my patterns. And I placed patterns, fabric and patterns on the table and started to cut it. Because of a um, huge uh, fraying, I think it is very important to cover all ages, almost all ages, uh, by an uh, overlocker stitch. And uh, to be honest, in the end of the sewing, I understood that that was a really good um, decision. The next steps, I'm going to make uh, pockets uh, on the side seams. If you don't want pockets or don't want to make your sewing harder, 
<laughs> don't do that but it seems to me pockets look so great and it is so comfortable even I'm not going to use um, these pockets for phones or for keys or for something else mm, it just looks gorgeous when you make pictures and put your hands inside the pockets and then um, when I made pockets on the front um, I need to make pockets on the back and then uh, connect them together but before I must to make those zip and it was so hard I have already told you because of the frame Now you can see how it looks like almost in the end and it's not fully symmetric. And that is my mistake. But then that this is on the back. <laughs> no one will see it.
here I want to show you what I have ordered for this dress. This is a um, uh, cool leather belt uh, for dresses, the smallest size. Even if it's the smallest, I needed to make two more um, holes. And in the end of this video, I will show you how it looks like with my ready to wear dress. And now it's time to make um, those BS parts of uh, on the front. And here it looks like I just cut it a piece of from the my pattern paper pattern. And uh, on the on the dress, just to understand where it should be. Uh, and I also need to make those um, corners, but um, because of rain. And my bad experience with deep, I prefer to make, do not make corners, just to make it a little rounder. And here you can see a BS line um, of those parts. I have cut it and I just need to put it inside my dress. For the bottom of the BS part, um, I prefer I prefer to use uh, French seam. For other bottom parts of the dress, I um, prefer to use um, a fabric line that I have put it interlining and do it like this. The width of this part is something about nine centimeters and now you can see my first fitting with those bs part <laughs> and it looks so poorly it doesn't it doesn't look like on those um, uh, picture but i know what am i going to do i have enough fabric to change it and um, i just need to make some uh, changes uh, to fix uh, those 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 bias part and to make a new one. The horizontal line are fixed on the table, but the um, vertical lines I should fix on the mannequin because the BS part of fabric is going down. The perfect way is um, to leave um, the dress now for um, 24 hours and this BS will go down more, but I don't have time. Maybe in future I will need to cut it off a little, but let's see. The next step 
is uh, uh, lining. I believe, I'm sure, uh, that um, winter dressing dresses cannot stay without lining. I know that it's twice a job and lining is like to make one more dress, but lining is perfect. And it's this viscose with a little elastan. I bought this lining in my favorite shop um, from Kiev this summer and the color is gorgeous. So I cut a lining the same um, with the same patterns like my main dress and uh, inside you will feel so comfortable.
And if you are still with me and still watching this video, this is for you. I understand that um, this video is quite long and it's not easy to watch it. But now you can see a radium to wear dress and it looks beautiful. I'm going to make a fitting and I will try this dress first of all with my sew it, coat, coat, wool coat, um, Max Mara style icon coat and with my quilted um, coat that I sewed a few weeks ago and with a different boots. I hope you will like it. Sure. 